Right, for my little matrixy lockdown tip, if you want to call it, that hopefully we'll get to use it if we, uh, if we eventually get back out. But what I want to talk about dead quick is something that I believe made a, a massive difference for me last year uh, when it comes to ledgering. I mean, I was always very, very lazy in the way that I'd, the way that I put my pellets on the hook or the way that I put my pellets, um, presented my pellets. I was just used to be lazy, whacking on the band, and it'd just be the normal case of, of a hook on a band like that, if we can see that. Are you good with him? Not a clue, but anyway, like that. Which, when fishing a waggler, I think that's fine. But when you're fishing on the deck and you're putting a static bait on the bottom, I think it causes a few problems having a hook. Um, that The way it presents you, your, your pellet at the back of the hook, because your hook's either going to sit up or it's going to face down just with, it, with the way that it's tied. And I don't think that's right. I think in the past I've been guilty so many times of seeing little, little indications on my tip, and we've all seen it, where it's that quick little twitch. Where I think so many times they've had it in the mouth, they've spat it, and they've not impaled that hook in the bottom of the lip, which is where we want them to be. And I think that's pretty much 99% of the time down to us presenting a bait in poorly. Do you know what I mean? We're not setting the trap and, and getting job done when the fish is taking the bait. Swap into drilling a pellet and presenting it in that way instead. Let's have a little look. That way, I don't know if that's showing off. Looks like it. That way instead. It has been everything for me. You know what I mean? Cause it just puts everything in a line, as in the the, hook, the pellets in a nice little parallel to my hook. It's not a, a at a right angle, is it? Like a T at the bottom of the hook. It's nice and straight, and it makes my hook instead of being up or down, it makes my hook lie sideways. You know what I mean? It's flat on the bottom, a lot less visual to the fish, less chance of them seeing that and not eating it because there's a hook there. Very much a, a carp angler mentality. I mean, disguise everything, keep it as subtle as it can, and then with a few other tweaks. Uh, mainly a little bit of silicon. You know I mean, I've been playing about with a little tiny bit of silicon. I don't know if we can see that. Little tiny bit of silicon on the end of my hook. That's been massive. I mean, putting that right round so it's at the front of you, uh, in line with the point of your hook. It means that as soon as a fish sucks it up, it's that kind of thing when they do where they pull it across the hand and it hooks every single time because you know that a fish can't eject that bait because of the the way the pellet is. And you're, it's all nice and straight line. It means that you get a better hook hold, so much better. So it's definitely worth doing. Dead quick. I mean, I'm going to waste through drilling my pellets because I mean, it, it's something that's so simple that just by doing a quick tub of pellets, it allows you to have a tub ready to go. And I know that I'm presenting stuff in a better way. And also, the biggest thing as well that I found is the versatility of having a, um, a just a, a thingy, just a spike. I mean, because that's just a, a quick stoppy type thing on the end of that if I whiz him off. Pop that pellet off. So it's just that. You can see that. Not very good in focus, is it? But you know what I mean? It's just a hook with that. If I have it in that way, I can put whatever I want on. I mean, whereas by when I was using a band, I was so limited to just putting a pellet on, maybe a waft or maybe something like that. But now that I use um, a normal hair with a spike instead, I put whatever I want on. You know what I mean, I can put big expanders on, I can put blown pellets on, I can put anything, big lump of meat, whatever I want. It makes it more versatile, which I think in bomb fishing is very, very important. But my little key Eureka moment with drilling pellets last year. So it drove me mad trying to drill with all sorts of these little fancy bait drills. It takes about 20 minutes per pellet. It wasn't too good. But instead, we sorted this out. So I butchered one of the bait drills and whacked them in the end of my drill. And now it is the easiest thing in the world. I can get a little production line going. I can just whack my pellets out. We've got some eight mils here. And literally, it's just a case of dead, dead slowly. Whizzing it through my pellet, and just as you get to the end, give it a little fast bit. I'd say it gives me a lovely dill pellet that takes what five seconds to do. So it's a little thing that definitely we've got a lot of time to, to spend on whatever we want at the minute. So get some pellets still, definitely by the time we get out, it'll just make your bomb fishing that little bit better. So I'll see you soon.